G'day guys and um, welcome to my channel and for the new people coming in welcome today I'm going to be smelting or I should say roasting sulfides to um, recover the fine gold I'll just give you a bit of a close-up of the sulfides here they are here now, normally the sulfides are a, a, a grey, silver grey colour, but the reason they're brown, these are brown is because they've been sitting in in water, they've been wet, and um, I've collected these up over uh, two or three months now. Um, yeah, so uh, because they've been sitting in water, they've the sulfides have rusted, and that's why you get this brown. Rusty colour. Yeah. Okay. I'll set up the the furnace and then I'll start roasting these sulfides. Okay. We're roasting the sulfides. And by roasting the sulfides, we burn off the sulfur. And also breaks down the sulfides to release the gold. smoke is the sulphur burning off. Okay, all the sulphides have been roasted. You can see it's turned a, a red and now the sulphides have become oxides. Yeah, all the sulphides have been roasted out of them. Now, what I've got to do next is put it in the mortar and pestle, grind it up really fine. And you only put a little bit in at a time. Just a little bit in, grind it up, break down all those bigger particles. doesn't take long yeah it grinds up fairly easily okay guys I'll finish grinding this up and then I'll um, I'll be back panning it okay guys here's the sulfides all ground down ready to go now I'll pan some out I'll just do a little bit at a time and uh, as you can see the water's turning really rusty red, real dark red, that's the oxide. Yeah, I, um, I did some of the uh, sulphides before in another video and I, and I got some fine gold. It's uh, not all the sulfides are going to contain are going to contain gold. Only um, certain sulfides that trap the gold, obviously, are going to have the gold. to do. I'll just go and get some clean water guys. Sorry about that. I should have had the water all organized, shouldn't I? Anyway. And these sulfides are um, well, you could call them oxides, you know, they're oxides, but they're, um, very heavy, very heavy, and I can see a lot of, a lot of gold glitter in amongst it, I wouldn't be surprised if the, 
the gold's that fine that when I'm panning it's um it's coming back with the with the heavy oxides. Because when it's when the gold's fine like this the only way you can really get it is um to melt it down like I've done in the past melt it down and and um, get the gold the gold will form little little beads I'm seeing gold in there now really fine gold Super fine. But that's alright. We're getting the gold and I'm no doubt this fine um, oxides that I'm washing back, there's no doubt in my mind that there is gold in it. Yeah. There's a couple of nice chunky bits of gold there actually. I don't know if you better see them. I'll clean it up a bit better. I'll get back to this when I've cleaned it up. Okay guys, I hope you can see that. There's a, a bigger speck right there in front of my finger and then around here there's some super fine gold. Anyway, some of it's starting to float now in the water. It's really fine. So um, I'll, um, I'll put it under my microscope and give you a better, a better look at it. Yeah, I've still got some more to pan out. Okay, lucky last pan. Yep, and uh, yeah, fine gold in in the other pans, guys. This, this is pan number three because I only had a little bit of it of material to play with. But uh, yeah, fine gold in every pan. So it just goes to show you with your sulfides, if you want to mess around with them, roast them, gr grind them down as fine as you can get them, and uh, yeah, and just pan it out like I'm doing. You can recover some fine gold from your sulfides. And of course if you've, you, know, you saw what I had to, to work with, I only had a small amount. Um, so if you've got quite a, a, a bit of sulfides, you, there's quite a bit of gold you can recover from them. And the, the sulfides I've got here, they didn't all come from the same rock. There's bits and pieces of rock I've been crushing and panning out over the last, oh, probably three months or so, and I've just collected it all, kept it all together, and now I'm processing it. I'll be back. Okay, let's see what we get out of this lot. I know there's gold in it, there's going to be more gold in this material. Yeah, it's really heavy, really heavy sand. Obviously, there's iron. In these, in these sulfides, I can see all the fine gold at the back of the pan. I don't know if you'd be able to see it as I'm panning back on that right hand side. The gold's um, showing itself. Super fine gold all along here, guys. Don't know if this camera will do it justice. There's a tail of gold all through there. Okay, I'll clean that up better and then I'll put it all in the pan and show you. Okay guys, there's the gold. I hope you can see that. I'll take um, I'll take a photo of it and I'll put it under the microscope just to show you the fine gold. <laughs> 